Okay, y'all, we have got a huge amount of tanks to build today. That is annoying. Let me turn that off. This is way too loud. Just for a minute, that can be quiet. Finally, peace and quiet. Like I was saying, guys, we have got a bunch of enclosures to build. Now, mainly, we're going to be foaming a few of these and then adding the backgrounds. Some of these we'll just be planting without the foam, and then some of them we will be doing the complete setup. Now, all of these enclosures are going to be available at the Reptilian Nation Expo here in Fort Worth, Texas. So, if you guys are stopping by that area, definitely come check them out. Now, on today's video, we're actually doing this on the back porch outside. It's a little hotter than I'd like, but we're just going to do it. We're going to get it done and see how everything turns out let's get started and of course all the turtles here are just swimming around aimlessly now that I uh, turn their waterfalls off but without further ado let's go ahead and start getting these all flipped on their back added the cork and then we'll go ahead and foam them all together quick y'all look at that piece this thing is going to look insane in one of these enclosures the moss growing on it is just wild this is a, a top-notch piece right there anyways let's continue now in all honesty it really does not look like much it does not look that great it could look better but just wait till we foam everything we get all the plants in and we get them all cleaned up a bit more now i do want to add two of these cages this one here and this one here will also have waterfalls so just stay tuned for that we've got all of the cages laid out though they are pretty much ready to go this bird is getting on my last nerves oh my gosh shut up bird shut up shut up Okay, that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven enclosures complete. Seven large enclosures. Let us not forget, only one of these seven are smaller enclosures. The other six are pretty good size enclosures, but now they have all been foamed, and really we just have to wait for them to dry. But this foam does take about 24 hours to dry, so I think that's what we're gonna do. As you can see, we went through a lot of foam, but we're gonna go ahead and wait about 24 hours pick up the camera there, where then we can start building the enclosures and really decking everything out. See y'all in about a day. Okay, it is the next day. We have actually recruited my little brother here. Say what's up. What up? And we are going to basically start cleaning these enclosures a little bit more. We're gonna silicone the background. Now what I mean by that is all this extra shiny foam, we're gonna carve back add silicone and then add dirt on top once we do that that'll make the enclosure look a whole lot better a lot more natural and a lot more rocky while we are siliconing these enclosures here my little brother right there is going to take some cleaning vinegar and this towel and he's going to just start wiping around the outside here around all these little parts that are kind of just dusty and dirty or even spots like this where there's spider webs and whatnot he's basically going to go through and wipe all of that so we're just gonna kill two birds with one stone, wiping the outside of these a little bit more, and then carving the excess foam. So as we do that, I'll just kind of pick up the camera and, well, we'll let you know how it goes, right? Yep!
Okay, as you can see, most of the tanks have been fully carved. Jonah is going through taking out all the old foam, as you see. <laughs> Done! I've got two different types of silicone I'm going to be experimenting with. I've got some of our black number two silicone. This stuff works great. And I've also got some of this number two silicone that is clear. So both of these I'll be using in the caulking gun. We've got our gloves. So basically we're gonna spread silicone all across the cage, add dirt, and make them look fantastic. All right, let's go, here we go. Ready to rock and roll, let's go. Oh my goodness guys it has been several hours I know it does not look like much but uh, pretty much all the dirt and hardscape is in the enclosure so most of them are ready to be planted but I'm going to stop here for the day for example this enclosure does not look like that much just wait till we add plants later on um, in a couple minutes okay my camera is just seconds from dying all of the cages are ready to go we have added the wood we have added everything like that we just have to add the plants but we're gonna do that tomorrow morning okay guys I'm going to go now I will pick up the camera tomorrow morning before it dies it is literally blinking red I'll see y'all tomorrow morning peace Well, well guys, it has been actually a couple days later. I know I said I would pick it up like the next day. It's been a couple days later, but in this part of the video, we're going to go through all of these enclosures here and add plants. So we're gonna do the final touches. We're gonna make these things look mwah, fantastic. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 cages to build, at least 12. I've got more that aren't out here, but we're at least gonna do these 12 and see how far we get. This bag is all of our treated leaf litter, so we will have to add leaf litter to all of these enclosures. And then plants, we've got plants here, plants and moss in this box here, and even more plants over here. Really guys, this process is a delicate process, and it takes a lot of my focus. So in all honesty, I'm probably just gonna go to town building and planting these enclosures, and then I'll pick up the camera in a little while whenever we can get a good tour of everything. I might film a little bit of me of adding some plants, but for the most part, it takes up a lot of my attention, and so I just kinda go to town. But yeah, let's start building these enclosures and adding the plants, here we go. My goodness it is hot and humid and sunny out this morning all the cages are out here doing quite well it is now time to take a close look at all of them real quick we're gonna run through them first we have this one here pretty basic setup but I like the way it looks now I will be having all these available at the reptilian nation expo this weekend on that video, whenever I film that video of all these cages at the expo, you'll be able to see everything in much better detail. But right now, we're just running through it, just kind of giving you a general idea. Closing this one up, we've also got this 18 by 18 by 24. We'll have a waterfall. You can kind of get an idea of how it's going to look. The gravel area is going to be the waterfall section. And all the rest of this is just planted as it is. Wow, it is kind of dark. It's hard to tell exactly what I'm pointing at, but you guys get the idea. Then we've got all of our 10 gallon tanks. We've got this one, this is a little bit more of like a terrestrial sort of look. We've got this one, it's got a little bit of a background and whatnot. This one right here, a very basic one, just two plants, some dirt, some gravel. I wanted to keep this one really simple. And then this 10 gallon tank, the vertical setup. It looks pretty good if we open it up right here, you can take a close look. Opening it up, we've got our plants in this enclosure. Now this will work great for different types of tree frogs and even some crested geckos. Pretty cool, we're gonna go ahead and close this one up. Though. Then we've got this big fella. This is probably my favorite in all honesty. This thing is just wow. I mean, this thing is insane. We take a step back. I mean, just look at that enclosure. This top area literally has sand and rocks act as a basking area. And then as you work your way down, we've got our ferns and our moss. We've got more plants just kind of going all the way down. This thing will work great for so many different species. I am super excited to bring this to the show. Then we've got this guy right here. Fairly simplistic sort of setup. Looks really good though. We've got our plants, our bromeliad. We've got some moss across the bottom. Now this enclosure actually has a water bowl. And along with a water bowl, right under there is a hide. So if you have an animal that needs a hide, boom, hide, water bowl, you're good to go. 
Really, it is up to you guys to know what kind of animal you can put in your enclosure. These are just built and ready to go, but it is up to the person that has the animal to decide what kind of enclosure works best for it. Then we've got another waterfall enclosure. The waterfall should just pour right out here down into the gravel. Same thing, we've got the gravel pit. We've got all the moss and all the plants. This one looks really, really good. I mean, look at that. It's a rainforest in a box. Moving up, we've got this little fella. This is our nano enclosure. If we just pop it open here, very simplistic setup. We've got some moss, some stone, some wood, our little tiny guy. Hello, little buddy. And then we've got our last two 18 by 18 by 18s. Super cool setup once again. Very simplistic. We got our brom, got our, our grass foliage here. Um, lots of ground space for dart frogs and whatnot. And then to this last one here, same sort of concept. Now this has got a little bit more of a branchy area so your frogs or geckos can climb up to the top here. They can even go over here if they want, hide in the fern, they can hide in the bromeliad. It's really up to them. But yeah, that was a very, very, very quick look at all of these enclosures. Now remember, I'm going to have all of these for sale at the Reptilian Nation Expo here in Fort Worth, Texas. So if you want to take a better look at all these enclosures, you can wait for that video to come out. But I have got a lot to do because today is actually the setup day at the expo. So I got to go get ready to set up, get my products and everything ready. So I will see y'all in the next one, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We've got a lot of summer videos coming out here soon. So stay tuned for that. And hey, I'll see See you guys in the next one. Peace! What are you guys looking at? What are y'all looking at? I'm trying to film a video here. What are you looking at?